Hi guys, welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time to come across this channel, consider supporting this channel by clicking the subscribe button and also hitting the bell icon. It will be the only way that you will be updated when we upload a new video. For the returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to this channel and for the new subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to this channel. I can't just fall out to get, to get a shout out to people in the United Arab Emirates. Thank you so much for the support for the people in Qatar. Thank you so much people in Pakistan, Bangladesh, Nepal. Thank you so much for guys for supporting and people all over the world that watch this movie, uh, movies from Uganda, Kenya. Thank you so much for watching Ghana, uh, Nigeria and uh, Cameroon. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. It's always Mix from the Mix Creation, who always gives you update, great opportunities and how to improve yourself. Remember, in today's video, we are going to look at yet another interesting uh, part of what we call the UAE. Do you need approval to travel out of the UAE? The question is, or the answer may be yes or no. Depending. In this situation, we are going to look at two groups of individuals. And now, the first group we are going to look at the citizens of the UAE. In group two, we are going to look at the residents of the UAE with what you call the valid visas. Remember, the UAE is now open. There is a lot of uplifting of the restrictions. Remember, masks are no longer compulsory in the public places. Uplifting, no PCR test for travel if you are fully vaccinated. And if you are not vaccinated or you are unvaccinated, then you need to take what you call a PCR test. Those are what we call the gradual uplift on the, the restrictions of the COVID-19. Right now, what we say, if you are a citizen of the UAE and you are an unvaccinated, if you are a citizen of the UAE and you are unvaccinated, you can only travel if you are exempted from taking the COVID-19 vaccine that is per government. Still, number two, if you are a citizen of the UAE, you can only travel out of the UAE for what you call a humanitarian matter. That is when the government can let you go. If you hold a UAE passport, that is what I mean. In situation three, if you are a citizen of the UAE and you wish to move out of the UAE, you can only move if you are going for what you call the medical matters. That is according to the government, according to the, the authority or the Ministry of Public Health in the UAE. That is the requirement for you to travel out of the UAE. In situation two, we are going to look at what we call the residents. The residents that hold the valid visa or hold the, uh, the residence visa of the UAE. Yes, the residents or residents living in the UAE, when we're talking about the UAE, we are looking at the seven Emirates that make up the UAE. We look at Dubai, Abu Dhabi, and Syria. For you to travel out of the UAE, you do not need any approval. You can travel out of the UAE at any time that you wish. But however, the government stresses it is your obligation if you are going to move out of the UAE. It is going to be your obligation, first of all, to check the travel requirements of that country that you are going to. It's quite very important. If you are traveling from the UAE to your home country, what are the requirements of your home country if you are going to, if it's going to be your, test, your, your final destinations? If they require the PCR test, then that means you need to take the PCR test before you travel to, to, to that country. Remember, each of these countries have its own requirements and each of these countries have its travel and COVID-19 requirements at one or the other. The government, the UAE still, uh, the UAE government still stresses that. That is your obligation. That is your responsibility as you, the person. Check out with the airline that you are going to use. What are the requirements? What are the requirements for that airline that you're going to use? And what are the requirements for that uh, country of destination 
or a country of destination where you are going. If the requirements need you to be fully vaccinated, then follow the procedure. If they need you to take the PCR test in the last 48 hours, then follow the procedure in one way or the other. They also, the government also still stresses for people who are transiting through Dubai to the country of destination, you should also check out the requirements of the final destination. Or you should also check out the requirements of that transiting country or where you are going to transit through until to your final destination. Because uh, they said that is your obligation for you to find out. But however, if you are a resident in the UAE and you have what you call a valid visa, you do not you have a valid visa and you are fully vaccinated with the approved vaccines then you do not require you do you do not need any approval for you to travel out of the UAE. Hope I've tried to share up something for the person who asked for that question and uh, someone was coming from Uganda he asked for that question that how can I do if I want to go back for vacation yes probably you are free to go back for vacation in your home country but make sure you check with the airline that you're going to take or the airline that will be your uh, your then uh, you also check with the final or final destination where you are going the requirements that do not need such that you are not interrupted in any way in your travel Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Remember, it's Max from the Max Creation, giving you all updates. By the way, don't forget to give up the thumbs up if you think this video is very useful. Don't forget to give a comment or leave a comment. Tell me what you want me to talk about. Tell me what you feel is puzzling over there. We can try to talk about it and we can get a solution. Remember, see you again in the next video as we try to explore more of these opportunities. Uh, we look at the travel registration guidelines for all different countries and the Gulf and the Middle East at large.